Hey guys, I hope you're well. I'm going to do another random little video today. I seem to be posting them um, Sundays and Mondays, seems to be the case, so I'm just going to roll with it. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about something in the hope that it will, you know, hopefully help someone who may stumble across this, who is also going through the same, and it's not really commonly spoken spoken about like I'm not sure actually many people know about this but and we are going to end with something fun so don't worry about that and I am in no way like complaining or like anything like that I'm just hoping that by doing this video it will help whoever also has the same as me because basically what I want to talk about is Turner syndrome which is what I've got and basically, if you don't know what Turner syndrome is, it's a syndrome that is caused by the inheritance of chromosomes from parents, from my parents, basically. And I don't quite know the ins and outs of that particular bit because I'm not a doctor, but basically that's why I have Turner syndrome. And for some reason, it only seems to affect females. <laughs> I don't know why. That's just the case. <laughs> Very sexist syndrome. <laughs> um, I need to joke. <laughs> basically, um, I'm sorry, I'm saying basically um a lot, so that must be annoying already, so I apologise for that. It affects a few things. Uh, one, it affects my height. So I am actually four foot ten, which for an adult my age is actually quite small. And I did have about ten years of growth hormone injections, which I did complain about a lot because they hurt. <laughs> but I don't regret it because if I didn't, then I would actually be even more smaller than I am. So, so that's good. They did their job. And it also, again, I'm not a doctor, so I don't quite know why or how, but it kind of, the syndrome kind of affects your skin a tiny bit as well, to do with the moles. So don't know whether you'll notice it, depending on whether I'm wearing makeup in my videos or not. And you'll probably notice it now that I've mentioned it. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, Turner Syndrome girls most likely will have a few moles on their on their body and it also affects a little bit of your hand-eye coordination so things like catching and learning to drive uh, but by all means like I didn't let it stop me so by all means if you love like sport and you want to learn to drive by all means go for it because it absolutely will not stop you from at least enjoying it and you know doing quite well in it really you know it just has a little factor in it that's all and also it's very common to have high blood pressure with Turner syndrome girls which I am currently on a couple of blood pressure tablets to help level that and there will be you'll notice that there will be quite a few appointments that you tend to have to go to like for MRI like just to check up on everything okay with your heart and all that stuff it's I promise you it's just mainly procedure so me saying that to you and you having the same thing as me you're probably thinking oh really I have to start having stuff like that honestly it's mainly procedure so please don't get all panicky and worried I promise. Um, also, I think the biggest thing I found out when I was about 13 was that you can't have children when you have this syndrome. So, which, I mean, obviously when I'm 13, it didn't affect me that much knowing that. And it still to this day doesn't affect me too much. But obviously in the near future, when I seriously start considering having my own family that is when it will be a bit of a factor and 
there will be things to you know think about like such as maybe adoption or IVF or you know there'll be there'll be ways around it so like I said if you're listening to this and you've got the same as me please like don't worry like it's just a few things that it affects and you can be absolutely fine living a perfectly normal and happy life so please just don't let it get you down you know you'll have good days about it and then you'll have days where you think oh man it kind of (laughs) sucks but you'll be absolutely fine I promise I hope this video helps and is a comfort and the only reason I'm briefly having a little chat about it is again because I haven't really heard many people doing any videos on this. I don't think it's actually a common thing to know about. And if you want to learn more more about it, more professional, like medical uh, things about it, uh, go on the like NHS site or just any doctor's net uh, just to research a bit more proper, like technical things about it because again like I said I'm I'm not a doctor so I don't completely know the ins and outs of it but there we go uh now for a completely random but fun ending you know I mentioned in my one of my previous videos about there was a couple of Lush products I couldn't get on the day well I decided to order them and the package came it came in a cute little box and I think a lady called Paula put it together so thank you Paula if for any reason you happen to be watching I'm sure you're not but there we go so I will show you the couple of things I got from Lush to end this video (coughs) sorry I feel like does my voice sound a bit croaky in this video I'm sorry if it does anyway the first I've got two bath bombs the first one I want to show you is called Monster's Ball and it looks so lovely and pretty in the bath and it's just this cute little monster it's got like it's pinky purple color with blue horns and an eye I feel like if I were a monster I feel like this pretty much would be me as a monster really like the colors and he's just he just looks really cute and it looks really pretty in the bath so that's where I really like him or her (laughs) so yeah I'm excited to have that and the other one I'm very excited about the sparkly pumpkin I'm excited to have my proper Halloween bath with orange bath water and black candle maybe whack in a few cobwebby spiders on the side make it a proper Halloween bath But here we go, yeah. Sparkly pumpkin. So just as I said in the other video, it's just a mini pumpkin really. And it does normally have a little cinnamon stick poking out. But I think it's fallen off. But it still looks so pretty and it will still do the job. Oh, and it still smells so good. I'm so excited to use them, as you can probably tell. (laughs) So yeah, I thought I'd end on that nice, fun little note. I hope this video helped anyone who is going through what I have or knows someone who also has the same as me. Again, this isn't like a moaning video or like attention or anything like that. This is just purely because it's not mentioned much and I just wanted to help anyone who happens to be viewing this video I I'm sure I've already said that a few times now again forgive me if I ramble and repeat myself (laughs) I hope you liked it and I will see you again with another video I hope you had a good day Uh, bye love you